Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. For those of you who are new to my channel, I want to give you a very, very warm welcome. My name is Kyron and my goal with this channel is to provide you no BS content on a weekly basis. So the purpose of today's video, if you've missed the title, is to introduce you to some of the better Polkadot parachain projects that will obviously be commencing their auction shortly uh, to become a parachain. So the video will be structured by introducing you to the top two or top three picks in their selective field, for example, gaming or DeFi, and then finalizing the video with my top 10 overall picks for the entire parachain auctions. So my criteria for these projects is really quite simple. They obviously need to be announced, which essentially they all are. But most importantly, I'm looking for the premier coins that are testing on either Rococo or West End. And if you are unfamiliar with what that means, they're essentially the testing environments for both Polkadot and Kusama projects. This essentially shows that they're actively testing and pushing their developments as fast as possible. And this pretty much means that their milestones will be met a lot sooner and therefore the price action should therefore follow. Not to mention this is obviously really, really important to secure a slot implementation. I'll be excluding any of the larger cap cryptocurrencies in this instance, like Chainlink or Refinance, simply because I'm looking at newer projects or smaller cap projects that will give us investors a higher ROI. Now also in saying that, I wanna let you guys know that I'm looking for cryptocurrencies that will be great long-term holds, not just short-term holds, because if you know me, I'm looking at investing in my future, not just the short term. This is actually pretty important because we're actually gonna be receiving most of our tokens over a two year vesting schedule, at least for most of the projects as far as I'm aware. So it's very, very important the project we pick stands the test of time. And one last thing I wanna also mention that I am looking for projects that do have the higher end investors and not the ones that are the usual pump and dump uh, suspects and also have the usual good things like advisors, obviously partners, and essentially just an overall really, really solid project. Now, as I list off these cryptocurrencies in their respective fields, I wanna let you know that I will only be giving you details that are provided to us by the official Parachains page. So I won't be going into some great depth until my top 10 cryptocurrencies are announced. Now, this video would obviously go into the hours if I was to give a detailed explanation on each. And also many of these projects specialized in different fields. So don't be alarmed if something is mentioned in say gaming, but also utilizes NFTs because I don't plan on overlapping. Now, with all that being said, let's start off with a smart contract. So first off in no particular order, we have Moonbeam. Now these guys are network tested. They have 15 investors and they have two Web3 Foundation grants and are not currently trading. Next, we have Asta, which is network tested, 23 investors, has five Web3 Foundation grants and are also not trading. Then in the smart, the final one, sorry, in the smart contract category, we have Clover Finance. These guys are also network tested, have 10 investors and are openly trading already on Binance, as well as a plethora of other exchanges. Next, we have DeFi. Here we have Akala, which are network tested, 32 investors, three Web3 Foundation grants, and are not trading. Then we have Sierra Network, which is not tested as well, 32 investors, one Web3 Foundation grant, and are not trading. Then we have Equilibrium, not tested, has 23 investors, two Web3 Foundation grants, and is also not trading. Finally, I've added an extra one in here because this DeFi list was just too good not to. Konomi, these guys are network tested, have 25 investors and have one Web3 Foundation grant and are currently trading on exchanges, including KuCoin. Next, let's go with Oracle. So we have Kylin Network, which is network tested, has 24 investors, has one Web3 Foundation grant and is also trading on Gate.io as well as other exchanges as well. We have Aries Protocol, which is network tested, has seven investors, one Web3 Foundation grant and is currently trading on exchanges, including Gate.io as well. Next, we have Paralink Network. These guys are not tested, have 14 investors, zero Web3 Foundation grants, and are also not trading. Next, we have Data, and let's start off with Fala Network, which let me just let you all know, I'll be coming out with a review soon. 
Now, these guys are network tested. They do have nine investors, one Web3 Foundation grant, and are currently trading on Binance as well as others. Then we have Crust Network. This is tested on the network. Also 22 investors, one Web3 Foundation grant, and is trading on exchanges, including Huawei Global. Next, we have Latentry. These guys are network tested, 26 investors, one Web3 Foundation grant, and is trading on Binance as well. Let's move on to the bridges now. So we have Fontum Network. These guys are not tested, have 12 investors, one Web3 Foundation grant, and are not currently trading. Then we have Darwinia Network. These guys are network tested, have seven investors, three Web3 Foundation grants, and are trading on exchanges, including Huawei Global. Then we have ChainX, not tested, five investors, zero Web3 Foundation grants, and are trading on KuCoin. Then finally, an extra one I've added in here is Rio DeFi. These guys are not tested, 21 investors, zero Web3 Foundation grants, and are trading on KuCoin. And next we have privacy. So we have Manta Network. Now this is the only one I've added in here for privacy because this is the only one I was confident in. And these guys are network tested, 20 investors, one Web3 Foundation grant, and are not currently trading. Then we have the NFTs now. So we have Affinity. These guys are not tested. 23 investors, zero Web3 Foundation grants, and are trading on Gate.io. Then we have Unique Network. These guys are network tested, have five investors, zero Web3 Foundation grants, and are not currently trading. Finally, we have the gaming sector. So we have BitCountry. These guys are network tested. 32 investors, one Web3 Foundation grant, and are not currently trading. And finally, exceed me. These guys are not tested, have eight investors, zero Web3 Foundation grants, and are trading on gate.io. So there you have it. A breakdown of all the better projects in their respective fields. Now, to be fair, I did have to leave some really good projects out of this list. So if your favorite project or you wanted to search more projects on this list, the link will be in the description. Now in saying that, I do have my top 10 coins I will be listing to you shortly. And these coins will be mixed between coins that are and are not currently trading. So you do have a bit of a mix between the two, but again, I will point this all out to you. And just so you're aware, the coins that I'm about to mention that are currently trading have a slight advantage over the coins that are not currently trading. And that's simply because you aren't required to surrender any of your DOT tokens for that two year lease period, which is pretty crazy. Now in saying that the other benefit behind that is also if these coins do get a successful parachain uh, slot, and they do go up in price significantly, you're able to withdraw the full 100% amount of capital out rather than 30 or 20% like the other coins that aren't currently trading. So coming in at number 10, we have Darwinia. So Darwinia is a cross-chain bridge network built on Substrate, which claims to be the Web 3.0 cross-chain bridge hub. Now Darwinia will provide a secure and general bridging solution that will connect Polkadot, Ethereum, Tron, Binance Smart Chain, and other heterogeneous chains together for DeFi, cross-chain NFT trading, and gaming, as well as much, much more. Now, it's worth noting that the founder of Polkadot himself, Gavin Wood, has praised Darwinia as, quote, one of the most noteworthy Polkadot ecological projects which is obviously a really, really great start. Now, there is no questioning Darwinia means business as it has received three Web3 grants and has some seriously strong partners. Now, this has proven Darwinia has what it takes to win a slot and that Polkadot obviously recognizes her as a truly beneficial project for the ecosystem. The only downfall here is the backers, which are very limited with the one decent one being Hashkey. The reason I have Darwinia on my top 10 list is because of how advanced they currently are in their tech, which is obviously already tested on the network as well. Now, what blows my mind is that Darwinia currently has a market cap of only $28 million. So if they are successful in the parachain auction, this would absolutely swell the price dramatically, causing anyone invested to receive huge multipliers. Now, this is all possible as they are currently live and trading. So if you were interested in Darwinia, 
please go and do more research. At number 10, we have Affinity. Now, Affinity is a next generation blockchain for digital assets. It claims to be the highway for all NFTs and ensures its users can do anything from bidding or selling without actually being on that chain. Now, they call themselves the NFT highway. And if you wanted more information on Affinity in a fantastic breakdown, please check out my review at the top right corner of the screen now. Now, Affinity has been created by the same team that actually created Engine Coin, so there is no reason to wonder why this will be so successful. And speaking of successful, their investors back this theory up as it literally includes a fair chunk of the market's bests. Now, this includes the likes of Arrington XRP, Fenbushi, Hash, Kinetic, DFG, GBV, and so many more. Now, Affinity is staring down the barrel of their mainnet launch later this year, and if a successful parachain connection is secured, these two factors should launch Affinity into the absolute stratosphere. Why, you may be asking? Well, because the market cap is only $48 million, which means it is a micro cap cryptocurrency, proving it has been under the radar for far too long. Now, the great thing is you can invest in this right now without surrendering any of your DOT tokens, so this won't impact other parachains you may want to participate in. Now, again, if you wanted a more comprehensive look at Affinity, again, check out my video on this. Now, at number eight, we have BitCountry. So BitCountry is a game that allows its users to start their own metaverse for people in a 3D world. Now, this includes things like NFTs and has a play to earn feature with endless possibilities. Now, if anyone knows me, I am not a fan of this kind of stuff. However, I recognize its importance and how it can still make some really big money. It's quite actually amazing if you go and take a look at the website, so I suggest you do so. Now, BitCountry will use Polkadot to leverage the fast transaction times and value exchange rates, as this is extremely important in a fast-paced environment. Now, BitCountry has been gifted a Web3 Foundation grant, which is fantastic to see as it is recognized for its developments and has been already trialed on the testnet, another big tick in the box. Along with this, BitCountry also has a whopping 32 investors, some of which include NGC, LD Capital, DFG, and Vendetta. This makes me all the more bullish on these guys. Now, everyone, there is no doubt gaming will be one of the first niches adopted by the mass market. And given BitCountry's amazing metaverse concept and earn features, this would be the best gaming parachain to choose, at least in my opinion, and would see huge future success if a successful parachain connection is met. Now, at number seven, we have Latentry. So Latentry provides the ecosystem with a decentralized identity, or DID for short, aggregation system that works works cross-chain collecting data that is integral for verification, credit lending in DeFi, personal reputation, on-chain governance, and even decentralized social media platforms. Now, the main issue Latentry solves is changing the requirements each decentralized platform requires from its users in the way of a DID, and therefore Latentry provides a framework that enables a smooth transition across all networks, ensuring the user experience remains the same, nice and smooth and steady. Now, Latentry is currently trading at just under $5, which means it is a fantastic pick if you are looking at open market parachain options. Now, with a market cap of only 130 million US dollars with a successful parachain integration, this could very well shoot this cryptocurrency well above $40, at least in my opinion, and it could obviously go a lot higher as well. Now, this cryptocurrency also comes packed with 26 investors, which do include the names of FGB, NGC, LD Capital, and Spark Digital. So overall, a strong list of names here. Now, Latentry is currently working on the testnet and has an open and active waitlist. So if you were interested at all, please go sign up while you can. Obviously, if you do want to just invest on the open market as well, go and do that yourself. Moving on to number six, we have Kylan Network. So Kylan is a cross-chain platform that empowers the data economy on Polkadot. Now, it will be the main data source for DeFi services and Web3-related projects 
on Polkadot. Now it's actually an Oracle service that allows for parachains and also parathreads, instantaneous yet reliable on and off chain market data and social data sources by leveraging Substrate Framework. Now, personally, I love Oracles and I think Kylan will be the go-to Oracle for Polkadot when it hopefully wins a parachain auction. Now, this would be huge for the price of Kylan as it is currently trading and only sitting on a minuscule $40 million market cap, meaning it is a micro cap cryptocurrency and better yet, we can still invest in it without the two-year lockup of our DOT tokens, which again, just reiterating, frees us up for other projects as well. Now, if you can see an ongoing theme with me here, I am looking for these projects that are smaller cap cryptocurrencies that are also already trading, which will obviously give us more flexibility and more price gains. Now, Kylan has a fair few investors as well with a total of 24, including the likes of CMS, AU21 and Moonrock. Now it's not the most pristine list of investors. However, the Oracle service is an essential idea for the entire ecosystem. So I think these guys actually should get a slot. Now, Kylan is also working on the testnet, which is really great to see obviously, and have received a Web3 Foundation grant as well. Overall, I am super bullish on Kylan and have it as one of my high ROI projects. In the fifth spot, we have Konomi. Now, Konomi is a full suite asset management solution for crypto related assets. Now, users can manage their crypto holding positions, trade assets, and earn interest through a decentralized money market products. Now, Konomi will support functions that are seen in trading deposits and also lending and with a full secured parachain connection. This will allow Konomi to unlock an even greater variety of financial products. Now, Konomi is currently trading at just 66 cents and get this, is at a $19 million market cap, which means the room for her to grow is literally next level. Now, this is again, really, really great to see as we're able to invest without surrendering our DOT tokens as well, which is an extra benefit. My only concern will be that she does not have enough funding to push her into victory against some of the larger names. However, I feel like the larger amount of investors and the Web3 Foundation grant should see her push across the line in the latter auctions. Now, speaking of investors, Konomi has 25 with some strong names like DFG, FBG, LD and CMS. Now, Konomi is currently being tested on the Polkadot network as well, which will give her that advantage over some of the small to mid-sized projects. Now, the reason I have Konomi at number five is simply that she is on the open market and a true hidden gem that obviously, if successful, will create some huge multipliers. Also, I do actually think Konomi will be a great DeFi asset working alongside other big names like Latentry and Darwinia. At number four, we're approaching the end here, people. We have Aster Network. So, for the cryptocurrencies I have already reviewed, I don't actually want to go too far into the explanation. So I'm going to refer you to my video on ASTAR and its sister net, Shiden, at the top right corner of the screen now. I do touch on both as they are the exact same project. However, I will most likely be doing a deeper dive into ASTAR in the coming weeks. So I will replace that link with the video when it is necessary. Now, if you feel like complaining because I haven't discussed the project in this video, then I urge you to actually rethink your mindset because if you're planning to invest money into a project, then you'd better do some due diligence and watching my video on that will for sure help. These explanations here that I'm doing now at least are only a very broad overview and you should really sink your teeth into the project before you put any money into it, no matter if it's for parachains or it's for just regular cryptocurrencies. Now, Aster is not currently trading and will do so seeing a successful parachain connection like its sister net Shiden. Now, it currently has a whopping five Web3 Foundation grants, which is literally the most of any project on this list. And if you understood the technical details here and what they were doing, you would understand why. Now, not to mention this, but the A plus list of investors, including Fenbushi, Hashkey, IOSG, DFG, and Binance, and the extremely long list of partners, as well as the already established list of blockchains working with ASTAR, such as Solana, and Binance Smart Chain make me all the more bullish. 
Now, these are obviously very, very bullish indicators and is why I have placed them at number four. And just remember, people, this will require you to surrender your DOT tokens for two years, so be prepared for that. I'll be coming out with a video actually on how to do this in the coming weeks whenever this is announced from ASTAR. At number three, we have Moonbeam. Now, the next three projects, including Moonbeam, are going to be very controversial as everyone has their own opinion about who should reign supreme. However, I am basing this on the utility as well as the expected ROI from the parachain launches. So again, Moonbeam is one I have already completed a review on, so I'm not going to extend the length of this video by explaining it anymore. So check it out at the top right hand corner of your screen. So Moonbeam has probably one of the best venture capitalist names in the space, including Arrington XRP, Fambushi, Binance, Coinbase as well, IOSG, and also GBV and Hashkey. In addition to this, they have two Web3 Foundation grants, except the only issue being that, again, you will have to surrender your DOT tokens for two years with no compromise. Now, Moonbeam will be one to get your hands on, and the waitlist is still open, so if you wanted to get your piece of the pie, I have made a video on how to register for that. So again, check that video out as well. Now, Moonbeam comes in third because I don't believe this will provide you with huge gains immediately, and will in fact see the most of your money made come the next bull cycle when you will have 100% of your tokens unlocked and a majority of the Ethereum developers building on the network, therefore obviously increasing the price and the uh, value of Moonbeam itself. At number two, and this is going to be a bit of surprise for a lot of you, it's Akala Network. So again, I've made a video on Akala and not to sound like a broken record, but I think you know where to find that link. So Akala has come out on top of Moonbeam, in my opinion, because of the use cases it brings to the ecosystem ecosystem, not to mention the LC dot feature that will allow the crowd loan participants to utilize their lock dot tokens before the end of the two years. However, there are some important takeaways from this. So I'll be doing a fully dedicated video on how to use LC dot token in the very near future. Now, overall, Akala has 32 investors, including DCG, Polychain, Alameda, Pantera, Arrington, Coinbase, Hashkey, and DFG, which makes it the most bullish list of investors that I have found invested in a parachain project. Now, the partnerships are also extremely bullish and their technology breakthroughs, as well as the utility provided to the Polkadot ecosystem, has been highlighted by the Web3 Foundation with three grants. Now, Akala is one of those projects I highly believe will be extremely big in the coming years and will see anyone participating generate some decent returns. Now, before I mention my number one pick, I want to point out an honorable mention, and that is Equilibrium. I would have loved to add this cryptocurrency to the list. However, I wanted a fair amount of diversity for anyone particularly wanting to invest in a wide variety of parachain projects. Now, I will be doing a video on Equilibrium in the coming week, so stay tuned for that. This is another fantastic project. Again, I wish I could have included, and I would have obviously placed this in the top five for sure. So at number one, and I absolutely guarantee this may confuse a lot of people who are unfamiliar, and that is Clover Finance. So Clover Finance is an absolutely beautiful project if you ask me. I have done a full video on it, so please go and do yourself a favor and just watch it for the technicals. Essentially though, Clover is bridging the gap between blockchains and allowing users to swap cryptocurrencies all in one interface, like MetaMask you could say, without requiring a token for gas like ETH, but instead using the native token you are using to transfer. Essentially, I always refer to it as the DeFi web that will connect the entire cryptocurrency ecosystem together via a simple to use wallet extension. Now, the reason I'm so bullish on Clover is because of the simple yet effective nature of what it plans to do. It will be reducing gas fees for users and ensuring a simple model is followed to that most people are familiar with, 
obviously modern day banking in the sense that you can only pay fees in the native currency. Now, I think Clover will be adopted by a lot of the cryptocurrency users as it is only practical to do so. And if you wanted the best idea of what Clover is, again, check that video out. Now, Clover isn't as fundamentally stacked as some of these other projects. However, they do have 10 investors and at that five quality ones, which include Polychain, Alameda, KR1, Divergence and GBV. But what I also really love about Clover is that it's actually available to purchase right now. And it's been pretty stagnant at the $1.10 to $1.30 range for a while now, which means it would be a great time to accumulate. Also, the project is sitting at only a $150 million market cap, which means news of a successful connection to Polkadot would shoot the price up dramatically. Now, in addition to this, we also have to remember the possibilities this will open for Clover with many projects like Aster and Moonbeam, which will onboard so many other DeFi ecosystems and therefore Clover will obviously expand dramatically. Either way, I'm sure everyone in the space right now is gonna be having some conflicting decisions on what to rank this list and to obviously take out or add some projects. And that's pretty much because everyone is super territorial when it comes to their favorite projects, which is absolutely understandable. I love Clover Finance and I've always said this, but I hope this has given you some insight into some possibly good projects to diversify your parachain portfolio. And obviously if you did miss out on the Akala crowd loan, possibly giving you some other good projects or equally as good projects to look at putting some more capital into. With that being said, everyone, let's get some really, really constructive comments going down below. Now, be respectful of everyone's ideas, concerns, or possibly suggestions. Let's break the internet here, guys, and let's really help each other out. Remember, we're all learning together. I'm gonna to be responding to all the comments I possibly can. And with that being said, I hope you all have a great day. Leave a comment below on what video I should do next. And until then, have a good day.